What is the line of change? Uh, you're getting Tristan back to five. Okay. Kevin to the four. Uh, I'm, listen, it is what it is, and you know, excited about the opportunity to get an opportunity to go out and play. Um, <clears throat> You know, whatever you know, the coaching staff wants us to do, we got to try to execute. So lineup change, you know, we got to go out and play hard and play for one another, and uh, try to get a win tomorrow. But versus a team that's three and zero versus right now. Ron, after that Oklahoma City game, Isaiah Thomas said that um, you guys don't trust each other defensively. Do you do you agree with that? I do, I do, and uh, that's, that's been a topic of conversation for us in the last few days of us getting back to that. You know, if a guy drives, someone being there to protect him, communication, and all those things. So, yeah. So, where, where is that? I mean, was that trust there earlier in the season? Um, well, it's been on, it's been off, it's been on, it's been off. You know, and it comes from, I think, us not being able to experience much as a team. You know, um, you know with the seven new guys and things of that nature, that's definitely affected it a little bit. Um, you know, with the lineup changes, where guys been out with injuries and coming back. So, you know, we've had to learn a lot on the fly to kind of trust each other defensively. And, you know, like I said, we've had good quarters, we've had bad quarters, we've had good months, we've had bad months. So, you know, the trust is something that's always has to be, uh, you know, it's going to be the thing that's going to get us over the hump at some point. And I'm sorry, if I did one more. So is it easier to trust each other offensively than defensively? No, it's both. I mean, it's, it's not all, it's offensively and defensively. Hey, Bron, beyond the trust of Florida, what about the camaraderie in general? Is this team getting along well enough to, to pull this together? Uh, I think we, yeah, we'll be fine. You know, we're fine. You know, we got to work our habits, though. It's not going to be as, as easy or, you know, as we would all like it to be. But at the end of the day, um, I, nothing has ever come easy to me. So I actually like the, uh, you know, where we are. You know, I don't like losing. I don't like the way we've been losing. But it's gonna, I think it's going to help us out in the long run. What do you, um, I, to be honest, I haven't even thought about it. Um, I know the rules. I know it's one-on-one -on -one off. <laughs> Um, I, I mean, I know he gets to pick the jersey that he wants first. I know that. Um, I know that you have to have three guards. You have to pick three guards, at least three guards. But I haven't even looked at the list, to be honest. Uh, yes, there is. There's a call today at 3 o'clock. I just told you I haven't even looked at it, man. I haven't even looked at it, but, you know, we'll really see what happens. So that's, that's, that's a nice story. So, do you, is there, the way the Pacers have played against you guys, is it, do they kind of just go all out and wink, you know, like, no, we, no, no fear kind of? No, they thing? took one from us the last game. The first time we played them, obviously, we we were terrible at the beginning of the season. A lot of teams beat us, um, you know, and, you know, they took one from us the last home game that they had. We, we were playing pretty well in the first half. Third quarter, they were playing much better, and they took a force in the fourth, so. We look forward to the challenge. Hey, Brennan, are you guys having fun right now, or is this just impossible to have a good time when you're? No, you can. No matter what's going on, you can never let someone take the joy away from you. So, yeah. you know, as a group, obviously, when you're struggling, there's less fun than others. But the joy is still there. I mean, that's just the joy of playing basketball, the game that you love. So, um, nobody's taking the fun away from. For me personally, I know that. Yeah, is it, is it tough to translate that though onto the floor during games when you're struggling like this? No, nah, I mean, it's, it's, listen, you go out and do what you have to do. Uh, to help the team get better, and then you can figure it out from there. So, you know, obviously, who? I mean, is it fun for anyone that loses? Is losing fun? No, it's not fun. It, it shouldn't be fun. But I think the job at hand should be still joy. I mean, that's what we do. So, um, losing is never fun, but the joy is still there for sure. What if you feel like the double T can help IT in this right here? They can pop and maybe on defense as well. Well, I think uh, offensively, he's going to allow. Um, you know, he's going to get the, uh, you know, Isaiah a little bit more room to, to work his uh, pick and roll game with double T being such a great screener and roller. Uh, defensively, he's going to give us uh, some more at the basket, hopefully some shot blocking, some more rebounding, obviously. Um, so, you know, he's been pretty good for us. Anything else? Wow, when, you, when a coach makes a change in a lineup like that, I mean, I know you're used to playing with Tristan all the time. Do the dynamics change nah. at all? No, nah, that's not me. We're bringing in a um, so we're bringing in a guy who started for our team numerous of games. So I don't think that's a big deal. How do you feel about being put into the starting lineup? Well, again, um, you know, coach made adjustments. You know, to be coming and start, and you know, do what I've been doing. You know, bring energy, play hard, set screens. 
Something new, so. Or not new. I was starting before I got hurt, so starting again. So I already helped this team get back on the right path. That's all that matters. From your perspective, what do you think led to this switch? I don't know. You know, probably losing X amount of games in a row. Maybe it's time to shake things up. You know, throw it a different look. So, uh, you know, I'm always open to new things. Whatever the team wants me to do, I've always been that kind of guy. So it does, uh, doesn't bother me. Listen, what do you think has been the, the reason for uh, the struggles in the last month or so? Um, I think we got to get, get better defensively. I think uh, teams are having it too easy. Um, getting into their, their plays and their offense, you know, we're not being physical, not making it tough on them. And, uh, you know, we can't have our offense dictate our defense because there's going to be times where we can't make shots. Uh, we got to bring it on the defensive end every, every game. This I'm prepared. Go for You're back to four of the five starters now that you've had the last four years since the team was put together. Kyrie Bright's easy on the chain, oh, yeah. together all the same time. Oh, yeah. Is there is that bring a sense of familiarity about it that this is the way it's been the last few years? Uh, I guess you could say it's familiarity, but you know, a big piece that was part of our offense last year was Kyrie, and you know, it is a part of our team now, and, and you know, they're two different players. So um, even though us four are still kind of we know each other, you know, changing point guards, it's always you know you got to you got to get used to that. You know, they're, they're two different guys and they play differently, so. Um, for me, being in practice, going with IT, I mean, you know, he shoots it so good from three. He's such a good shooter that if I set a good screen, force a big make a decision, you know, it's good for me and him. So um, I think me and him in terms of our pick and roll relationship would be fine. You know, it's just the other things we got to, you know, get together and gel as a unit. Uh, how prepared are you to, I don't know if this is going to Ball moments, but you think you're starting to, to play a bigger role now than say you were. Uh, so you want me to play one minute? I, I, I'm not sure. Right? Yeah, I, know, I don't know. <laughs> you know. Of course, once you play 15, 18, 25, 29, I'm ready. I'm prepared. Um, my body's built for whatever coach wants to put me through. So once you play 29 minutes, I'm not complaining. I'm going to play and play hard. So. Are you 100% now? Yeah, I'm 100%. But you'll never be 100% because, yeah. well, you know, because, well, you know, life is a grind right. and, you know, you guys are not even 100%. You feel better back in back <laughs> Sorry, in high school, sure back in back in 12th grade, grade, you felt better, you know, than compared to now. So um, I'm as good as it's going to get at this point of the year. So Tristan, you you guys have had spells in previous years where you didn't play well. Yeah. Is this worse than that? It's Any a completely different team. It's a different team. So, you know, you can't look at last year. In, in terms of looking last year, we could say, yes, we've been through that, but it's a totally different team. The league is different. So you can't just say, you know, we've been here before, we're going to get ourselves out of it because the league has got better. Teams have got better. Teams have scouted us. Teams are more familiar with us, especially with the four returning starters. So we got to get better. we got to play better. We can't just rely on turning the on and on switch because failure to prepare, preparing for failure. But some would say you haven't been here before in the sense that we're, we're hearing a lot of stuff, finger pointing and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You don't always remember hearing that the kind of thing about you guys. Finger pointing? Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's what y'all reporting. I mean, that doesn't mean that's facts. Okay. Unless, you know, someone was in there and snitching. But, you know, I wouldn't say it's finger pointing. I think we all got to be better, you know. Everyone's out looking in the mirror and be 1% better for the team. And that will help us out a lot. Tristan, can this team work through those personal differences right now and any, any fractures in those relationships? I mean, you go to work every day, you might not like a guy. You might not like the guy you work with. So, you know, it's part of life, but any day when we're between these lines, we got to play for each other, and that's all that matters. You know, I don't care if X don't like X off the court. I really don't give a As long as you're on the court playing hard and playing for each other, it's all that matters to me. You ain't got to talk to each other off the court. As long as you talk on the court on the defensive end, it's all that matters to me. It wasn't part of you guys' success the last couple of years, the 15 man dinners and liking each other off the court? Who said we did 15 man dinners? No, no we never. That only did in the playoffs. Ah, uh, see, no, no, it was only 15. Only those, those only during playoffs, yeah. during the sweeps. During the sweeps, we still go to dinner. It was never 15. For real, it was never 15 during the regular season. Okay. It was only during the playoffs when RJ broke the TV, alley cat. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, we still go to dinner. Guys are 
The dinner crew's still on. Yeah. yeah. Is there any coincidence that it always seems like you guys go through a slump about January and like it always happens in January. Is there any coincidence that it always happens at this time of the season or that the struggles happen right after Christmas and before the All-Star break? I don't know. I mean, it might be cold. Might be, guys might be heavy from, you know, Christmas dinner. I'm not sure, but uh, we got to figure it out. Whatever it is, if guys are feeling a little heavy, you got to get on the treadmill, get your work done. If guys' the shots are off or we're not playing up to speed, we got to do extra work. If guys got to put the extra work in, and you see Kev getting extra work in. I'm getting my free throws in, Bron and Swish and Kyle getting extra shots. So at this point now, everyone's just got to do one step more than what they're accustomed to just to get us out of this rut. When the team doesn't practice as you guys some a lot of times don't practice, does is defense the first thing that goes when you like, don't practice often? I wouldn't say that. I think uh, even if you don't practice, there's a lot of good teams in our league that don't practice, but they, you know, they, the, the key is to make sure you still watch the film. And that's what we're starting to do a little bit more now, watching film. And I think it's good for us that we can see the mistakes as a unit. To see, because you know, at the end of the day, when you're in a film with you know 20 guys, including the coaches, if you're doing something wrong, you know, you're a little bit embarrassed. So you want to be better at that and be better for your teammates. So I think that's good that we're doing that a little bit more now. Let's talk about the pick and roll relationship on offense with IT. But defensively, how do you think you can help him in those pick and roll situations? Uh, you know, we're going to do a drop and ice, depending on who we play or if we're in a blitz. Uh, just be active, just be active and, and you know, uh, try to hold up the guard a little bit till he gets back over. And if we're in a veer back situation, you know, have our second line of defense, be able to with the triple switch it or stun and recover, help IT up. But um, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. You know, Boston was really good defensively with Alhor for him. So, you know, it shouldn't be a problem. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we're going to start Tristan. Um, then again, you know, Jay's been playing playing good the last few games and um, has nothing to do with Jay. I know he's been great. He's all about the right things. It's all about team. And, um, you know, you hate, you know, make these changes. I'm not saying it's permanent, but, you know, he, he's, he's, he's whatever. He's about the team. And, you know, I went to talk to him this morning. He said, man, whatever is for the team, whatever is best for the team, I'm all in. So um, it was great talk with him. I just think, you know, starting Tristan, I think, um, helps IT in the pick and roll, helps Kevin because, you know, they're putting Kevin and IT in a lot of pick and rolls. I think with Tristan out there guarding the fire, we don't have to blitz as much. Um, we can, you know, do a better job of being our drop so we can play the pick and roll two on two. And um, I think it helps with IT, you know, as far as setting screens and a guy who can roll so it can mix it up for IT to help him get his shot off more. So um, just think that adjustment right there will help us. I think um, T Top defensively will help us out a lot too. Is Kevin going back to the floor Yes, sir. How does that change? Did we talk about well, we'll switch one before? Yeah, so, I mean, well, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. <laughs> but, right. but, but, I mean, as far as Kevin talking today, he said, he said good. You know, he felt good about it. And um, I think offensively for him, now you can post more fours, can get back to posting him more. Um, they switched three, four with him and bronze. We can post threes also. So um, I think it's a good adjustment for us, and we'll just see how it looks going forward. I'm sorry, she knows, I suppose. Is that the only change you're making? Yes, sir. How much more capable is the to take on the bigger load now than he was when he first came back from the attack? Um, I think he's better. I mean, you can see his motor starting to be back. Um, I think his energy, I think just being getting in better shape. And I think um, from us practicing the way we've been practicing and then playing games, I think he's a lot more fit, you know, more active. So um, I think it's a good chance and a good time to give him a start and um, see how it works out. Um, what do you, as far as playing? Yeah. Um, we got to see. I mean, we still got a lot of guys we have to play, um, a lot of guys on this roster. But, um, you know, we've been trying to think of ways to get Channing back in the rotation. And, um, you know, it hasn't happened yet, but, you know, it's still to come. Still a lot of time, a lot of game to be played. So um, we're going to continue to keep working on that. Would you be comfortable in that second unit not using a traditional big and maybe using Jeff? Not right now. Okay. Not right now. I think we had to get Tristan out early and bring him back um, so we can have that five on the floor because, you know, I think just talking to the guys, our bench is the best bench, I think, in Cavs history. You know, so we want to try to keep that intact as much as possible. But, you know, to start, we're going to start Tristan. Do you think about any changes at guard or, or not? Yeah, we thought about it. And um, right now is not the time. It's not a good time right now. So just see how this works first, and then uh, we'll go from there.